an early morning as we arrive in Malindi and head directly to Tofik Hospital. Allahu Akbar Allah. The mosque located at Tofik Hospital compound is enough evidence. Tofik Hospital is a unique health facility run according to Islamic religious values and is located in Malindi in Kilifi County. The hospital's mission is to provide quality yet affordable health care to the less fortunate in the community by providing them with cheap rates for competitive health services and sometimes free of charge. We meet Madam Ann Mwangi who is a social worker at the facility. She tells us how she came to be part of Tofik Hospital mission to help the needy and helpless by saving their lives and making a difference in improving health care provision to the community around the hospital and even beyond. Kwa hakika mimi kujihusisha na hospitali hii nilianza mwaka 1999 amba kwamba kutoka hapo nikiwa nitazie hesabu zile medical camps nafikiri nitapoteza ile hesabu. Ni vizuri kwamba hata mimi mwenyewe na sisi ambao kwamba tunahusika ukitembea katika sehemu zetu unakuta kila mtu anakuambia tunashukuru na tunashukuru na tunashukuru sana hawezi kusema wanashukuru ikiwa hakuna wema waliotendewa it is in this hospital where care for children is very specialized with the wards designed with pleasant and child friendly amenities the level of cleanliness is so high in every corner of the facility kwa kuwahamasisha mara nyingi wanakubali na pia katika hapa hospitali ya Tofiki matibabu huwa yako katika hali ya juu lakini kwa malipo ni nafuu kwa mwenyeji. There are two types of wards at the facility. The general wards and the private wards which are quite modern and of high standards. Meet Hassan Juma whose father is one of the hundreds of patients who underwent an otherwise costly surgery at Tofiki Hospital. Majengo mapya yanaishi na wazazi wangu wawili baada ya mzazi wangu Juma Hassan kupata tatizo la appendix akaulizia kama pengine operation yake ingekaribu pesa gani kwa kusema kweli ilikuwa pesa nyingi sana kiasi cha kuwa hatukuwa na urahisi wa kuafford hiyo pesa tukaja tukasikia kuna shirika la taufiki liko na hayo matibabu bila malipo kwa hivyo kusema kweli tuwashukuru kwa sababu jambo lenyewe halikuwa rahisi ni jambo ambalo lingeangarimu na kulingana uwezo wa kimaisha ndikuwa ni tujisatisfy sana ndo tupate kumaliza hilo janga kusema kweli hata mtungi wa maji hatukuwa kununua kila kitu tulifanywa free naona sababu kuu ni kujali maslahi ya, ya, ya binadamu na kujali watu ambao hawana uwezo wa kupata matibabu. Kusema kweli ningeipa kipaumbele tofiki kwa sababu jambo la kwanza huduma ile ilikuwa ya bure lakini venye nilichukuliwa pale ni kambi nilikata pesa nyingi sana paka nikapata matibabu nika, akapata matibabu. Kusema kweli ile tatizo ambalo likimsumbua liki mzee kufikia saa hii yuko sawa na alijem sumbua tena. Kwa hivyo inaonekana pia matibabu yao yako juu zaidi. The hospital's ambience is very attractive and welcoming to visitors as well as calm and assuring for patients living all satisfied. In terms of hospital services, more attention is given to children with specialized care in case of any complication. When I came to Tofik, well, Tofik was still coming up. We didn't have uh, so many patients but compared to right now we have so many patients from the communities here we get patients all the way from uh, different counties Garsen Lamu so i won't actually say that i help them but we help each other and uh, it's like a doctor patient relationship and it's been good been good work our limitation is that we still haven't achieved what we can achieve in this town um, there is equipment like ct scans mri scans uh, things like uh, ventilator machines uh, that we will need to help the community around if we got good support if they get good support from the government and well wishers they'll they'll perform well this girl who is 14 years old is among those who underwent surgery for free at tofik where under ordinary circumstances a case would easily be referred to india 
but Trophic Hospital undertook to finance the cost of the surgery to her daylight. I am kama sipitali ambayo ilienda kufanywa upasuaji mara ya kwanza kwenda kufanywa skin grafting mali nilipo ungua mkono mali ilipokuwa ambapo hakupoi kusema kweli operation ya kwanza si kugaramia chochote nilifanywa bure na yani nilipoenda pia muda wa kuosha mpaka nikapona si kulipa chochote langu ni kuwashukuru madaktari wa taufiki na madaktari walionifanyao mimi operation kusema kweli hawachagui hawachagui maskini hawajagui tajiri Amina who was unable to do anything because of the injury can now do totally everything including playing football Nashukuru wakati Amina alipochomeka alikuwa hali mbaya sana na nashukuru tulipata matangazo kila aina na alikuwa na mkono bado haujapona vizuri na tukafika pale Taufiki Hospital na tukajaza mafomu na Amina akaenda kwa operation ya surgery akatengezwa mkono wake na nashukuru anaendelea vizuri hata yeye mwenyewe anajisaidia sahihi kwa kufua kidogo pia kuandika mambo mengi kidogo anajisaidia saidia Dialysis treatment is one of the most scarce but expensive services in the country but Taufik Hospital has tried its best to provide the service to its patients and at a much lower price. There is only a few Muslim hospitals that are around in Kenya that we can only count about four to five, six about them compared to the ones which are for Christians, which are over 100 and 200 of them. What is happening here is if a person is rich to come and want to be treated in Taufik, he pays well. And the low income, he gets a, 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 a middle charges. But for the poor, normally we assist them. This is part of the planned expansion site for the hospital, which on completion will see the hospital handle all kinds of ailments. One of the biggest setbacks is that the Muslims community in, in Malinde and around uh, our region, the coastal region, expect to, to give them a free services. When you ask them why, they say because all these buildings are funded by people. So we, even if we tell them that the funding is only for the construction and the um, equipment, they won't believe it. So most of the time is we are getting a challenge that people doesn't want to pay for our services, though we're trying to convince them. So what's happened now, we even go back to the, to the people who are well off to convince them to contribute money so that the poor can also be treated. Mr. Board insists that their main challenge is funding for their humanitarian services, which at the moment they rely on Allah to show them the way. I have a dream of spending over 900 million Kenya shillings. So far I've not realized that money. But since it's documented, my feeling is we have that dream. The fulfillment is from Allah. We depend totally on Allah's blessing and, and the system that we will be successful. But I, I know that uh, what we are doing at the moment, by next two years' time, we will reach the level that at least our heart will be satisfied. And when you go back to sleep and then say, Alhamdulillah, that we did something for the community. Currently, Tofik Management is hopeful that one day their goals will be attained if volunteers and donors alike will see their input in assisting the hospital as one way of continually doing good on earth. Number one is to improve the, the infrastructures, which is currently what we are doing at the moment. We still need to put the equipment, the modest equipment for the theater and everything. We are targeting to, to, re, to reconstruct all other departments to make it the model ones, including the maternity, including pediatric ward, inpatient, including diagnostic center and doctor's plaza. Plus, we also want to, uh, to set a nursing college so that we are able to make sure that our own nurses come from within the people that we, are train, we train them, train them in terms of faith, the base uh, qualities and values in their heart plus their educational values. So this is a, it's, it's, it's a project that will require, in terms of, I should say, that it's a nine, nine million USA dollars re requirement that we need to make the standard what we want to be, that dream to be realized. And to reach the standard that we want to be, it's like about, the cost will almost cost us nine million USA dollars.
we cannot save our life or our people who are really suffering in the village because many of them they don't access to these facilities and when they turn they, they access to these facilities they are very late and they also maybe that, that time they, they'll tell you that it's the fourth the fourth uh, pos, uh, position they've reached in terms of cancer and they've no hope of survival so this is the case that we have a challenge and unless the good wish the good uh, the good or the well wishers can come up and support us in terms of helping us and reach the goal that we have dreamed and that is we have in the master plan among the services provided by the medical institution so far include consultation laboratory maternity dental and optical treatment dispensing inpatient pediatric services surgical services x-ray services dialysis physiotherapy and orthopedic Following the hospital's ongoing expansion program, the management of Taufik hopes to establish more facilities like an intensive care unit amongst others.